Today on Game Schooling with the Basics, I am going to show you a game that builds up pre-algebraic skills. Hi, I'm Leanne and I want to inspire families to learn through play. So if that is something that you are interested in, make sure to subscribe. Today's game encourages learners to manipulate a series of numbers to reach a target. We are using our favorite deck of UNO number cards only. If you've got a regular deck of playing cards, Ace to Nine will work in this game. So with a well shuffled deck of cards, we are going to take the top two cards and multiply them to form our target number. This is the number that all players must try to reach. Here, 6 multiplied by 8 is 48, and that will be our target. The next 4 cards are turned over for all players to see. Players can use each number only once, along with any combination of the following operations. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We have 9, 3, 6, and 1. So let's see how we can manipulate these numbers to get to 48, or as close to it. 9 subtract 1 is 8. Multiply that by 6 is 48. Exactly. Let's try a few more. Here, our target number will be 3 multiplied by 7, which is 21. We have 3, 8, 5, and 2. So let's see what we can do. 3 times 8 is 24. I can subtract 2 to get 22. Close, but not on target. How about if we try to add 5 and 2 to get 7, and multiply that by 3? Three. That is exactly 21. Let's do one more. 5 multiplied by 4 is 20, and that's going to be our target number. We have 3, 6, 2, and 1. What can we do here? 3 times 6 is 18, add 2 is 20. Players win the round by getting as close to the target number and as fast as possible. Once players have an answer that they are satisfied with, they can call it out first. The first player to call out the correct answer claims that number. This is a fun and creative way to combine four numbers to, in the most interesting ways to get the best answer. If you have a more advanced player, you can also allow them to use powers as well as roots to reach the target number. Think Fun has a variation of this as a dice game called Math Dice, which I highly recommend. It uses two 12-sided dice, so multiplications can go up to 12 times tables. Now these two d12s are rolled together and then multiplied. Instead of four cards, three six-sided dice are rolled and players try to be the first to combine the three numbers using any arithmetic operation that they are familiar with to match the target number, or as close to it as possible. If your students need more work on multiplication fluency, we have a ton of fun card games that we shared in the playlist below. If you want to add regular tabletop fun that also encourages multiplication, make sure to check out our videos on Ohanami, on Combo Clash, on Happy City uh, in the links below or at the end of this video. If you want your students to discover the relationships between numbers, factors and their products including prime numbers, I highly recommend you check out Joyful Mathematics Multi and we did a video on that as well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you get to try this real quick game soon and I will see you in the next video. Next.